Gumshoe. That word. It was shocking to hear it used so freely as a derogatory slur in 2016. In fact, nowadays, hearing it was unheard of. Was society... <laughs> Bang. That word. Jesus Christ, you're supposed to give him a warning shot, not a haircut. I'm sorry, Ron. I, I missed. We know you're working with Archer's widow, Gumshoe. Hand over the statue, and we'll let you off easy. I don't have no damn statue. <laughs> you're lying. Search the place. I wasn't lying. The only statue I owned was a racist lawn jockey I inherited from my grandmother. Sure, it was priceless, but only because no one wanted to buy it. Hey, that's my book collection. It was a Candace Bushnell novel I'd bought from a vending machine in Jersey. I'd stopped reading mid-title and now I'd have to start over from the beginning. I don't think it's here, Ron. Then you're gonna make him tell us where it is, Kirby. Aha. You want I should tickle his armpits? I want you should tickle his face with your stupid fists! <laughs> As the blows rained down, I managed to numb the pain with thoughts of Jane. Ah, Jane. Jane with her smooth, hairless back. Jane with her odorless feet and audible voice. No detective can resist a good mystery, and Jane provided that in spades. God help me. Was Jane thinking about me too? The beating really loosened the old waterworks. <laughs> Now I'd have to buy a new three-pack of underwear. Look, Rod, he's crying. Sure, I was crying. But I learned from an early age that crying is what grown men do. When I was ten, my mom ditched my father and me for a younger man with a better-looking son. Dad took it hard, but I did my best to cheer him up with song and dance. What's with the hub -bub? You just can feel it, tub -bub. Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? It's a shame you won't cooperate, Gumshoe. I'm no animal, and there are certain lines I prefer to not cross. Come on, Kirby. We're off to see the widow. <laughs> Can we stop at McDonald's first, Ron? You've done good work today. In fact, you earned yourself a little smooch. Oh, right. But wait, isn't it a sin? No, of course not, you idiot! We're brothers! Once they finished kissing and left, I did a quick survey of the damage done to my body. I was racked with pain from trunk to junk, but luckily most of my bleeding was internal, and my teeth were intact thanks to the protective plaque that comes from a lifelong fear of toothpaste. But Jane Archer was in trouble, and with any luck, Kirby and Ron's playdate at McDonald's would buy me just enough time to save her. I packed the bare necessities for our trip out of town. Cheap whiskey, cheaper sardines, and a surprisingly expensive fake mustache. I hailed a taxi cab, which is a car service that caters to backseat drinkers. What's your name, Charlie? It's Doug. Charlie, you ever wake up one day and realize that your entire life has become a goddamn love story? Can you not eat that shit in my car? Can Stop here! Nothing to say to you. There's no time, Mrs. Archer. You'll have to say it on the way.